بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈز دس از عمر سپرا فرام سپرا ٹی وی اینڈ ان شاء اللہ دس از اور فرسٹ کلاس اینڈ وی ول کنڈکٹ ویکلی کلاسز ان شاء اللہ اٹ از ا لائیو فری کلاس فار اسلامک اسٹڈیز سو لیٹس بگن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس يا has a standing uh, standing fatha and a small mud above it so ya will be stretched for two seconds because of the small mud ya will be stretched for two seconds so it will be ya then hamza fatha is being connected with ya with shadda because whenever a letter has a shadda on it the previous letter or the letter behind it has to be connected with the uh, with the letter so we will press the ya for one second because of the shadda here we will uh, put some emphasis on it and it will be like this a u u is because of the dhamma on above the shadda of ya so ya ayyuhan ha will be connected with noon and since noon has a shadda on it we will apply the gunna rule which means that we will uh, press the noon for 2 seconds and by pressing what i mean is that we will be touching the tip of the tongue Uh, at the roof for two complete seconds so ya ayyuhan nasu budu seen is being connected with ain because of the sukun sign and then budu do will be stretched for one second because of the waw mother rule which means that if a letter has a dhamma on it and the next letter is waw with sukun we stretch that letter for one second and that's called wa madda so ya ayyuhan nasu budu rabbakum alladhi ra is a heavy letter and every heavy letter has an a sound in it so it is not rabba it is rabba which means that you have to make your lips a little bit rounder while reading and connecting the raw with ba so rabbakum alladhi okay in the in the combination of dal kasra ya sukun dhi there is a rule called ya madda rule which is being applied here which means that if a letter has a kasra below it and the next letter is ya with sukun we stretch it for one second so dal kasra ya sukun dhi will be stretched for one second applying the ya madda rule so rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum kha comes from the top throat and it is a heavy letter and all the pink letters by the way are heavy letters here yeah? and qaf comes from the back side of the roof of the mouth it is also a heavy letter so khalaqakum walladhina again ya madda rul dal kasra ya sukun dhi walladhina min qablikum okay in me we are applying the ikhfa rule which means that we are hiding the sound of noon in our nose and what's the reason behind it the reason is that noon has a sukun on it and the next letter is does not belong to the throat letters which is hamza ha ain ha ghain kha and since qaf does not belong to the throat letter group that is why we are applying the ikhfa rule on noon which means that we are stretching the sound of noon in our nose for one second making sure that our tongue does not touch anywhere so this is ma qablikum la'allakum tattaqun again the waw mother rule qaf tamma waw sukun q تتقون. Since this is end of the verse, the 
fatha of noon will turn into sukoon and when it will turn into sukoon instead of saying tattaquna we are reading tattaqun because we are stopping here because this is end of the ayah alladhi imaginary fatha on alif here alladhi ya madarul again ja'ala ain will be from the middle throat it is a deep letter so ain will be read from the middle throat lakumul arwa firash was sama here the idgham rule is being applied which means that if a letter has a double fatha double kasra or double damma on it and the next letter is either a waw or a ya we combine those letters we combine we will combine the sheen when with the with this double fatha here and the waw and this combination will be read in our nose stretching the sound for one second that's called the idgham rule so we can call it a mixture of sounds firash was sama since ma has a big mad here so that is why we are stretching the ma for 4 seconds remember in small mad we stretch the letter for 2 seconds whereas if a letter has a big mad on it we stretch it for 4 seconds so this is firash was sama bina since hamza has a double fatha on it and we are stopping here because of the small sod sign here and when we are stopping on a word which has a uh, in which the last letter has two fathas on it then what we do is we remove one fatha from it and we stretch that letter for one second so that is why this is bina wa anzala ikhfaru lagain min as-samaa'i ma fa akhraja again ikhfaru now whenever in this quran in this print of the quran you see the color blue it means that you are going to apply ikhfa very easy to remember fa akhraja bihi min thamarati rizqan lakum since lam has a shadda on it the double fatha of qaf will turn into single fatha and we will connect the qaf with the lam pressing it for one second because of the shadda on it so this is rizqan lakum fala taj'alu now since jim is one of the qalqala letters and jim has a sukoon on it here in this in this word that is why we are going to apply the qalqala rule which means that we are producing the a uh sound here so taj taj the returning sound qalqala means the returning sound or the echo or the echo whatever so this is taj'alu lillahi okay here we are reading the central lam of allah as a light letter which means that we are not making the aw sound in it and the reason behind it is that if uh, the letter which is which comes behind the middle lam of allah if that letter has a fatha or a damma on it then the middle lam of allah will be heavy however if the letter behind the middle lam of allah has a kasra below it we will make the middle lam of allah as a light letter so that is why it is lillahi the same way we read bismillahi we don't say bismillahi and therefore we will not say lillahi it is lillahi because of the kasra the middle lam of allah will be a light letter and da wa antum ikhfa idgham ta'lamun end of the ayah the fatha of noon is turning into sukoon 
وَإِنْتُمْ Again, إِخْفَى and then إِخْفَى في يا مدر رول رايب مما راي را فتح يا سكون راي that's called يايلين يايلين means that if a letter has a فتحة on it like the را here has a فتحة on it and the next letter is يا with سكون we will connect the previous letter with the يا in a manner which is you may say the sound is shaky like a rocking boat the sound is not plain it is a bit uh, wavy not shaky but wavy i will i will call it wavy the sound is wavy like a rocking boat So the sound here will be wavy. It will it will not be straight. So for example, if imagine or suppose if there would have been a kasra instead of fatha, we would have said re bim. Re is a sound which is straight, whereas roi is a sound which is wavy. You can imagine uh, or think it like a bridge or a rainbow so it it is uh, so the lean sounds are like rainbow sounds so this is why that is that is why we are saying roi 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 bim mim ma because of the shadda on meme we are ignoring or removing one kasra of the ba turning into single kasra and then connecting the ba with the meme I think my WhatsApp was on. Someone is calling me. Yeah. Okay, now it's okay. So, this is Roy Bim. The double kasra of Ba is turning into single kasra. We are connecting the Ba with Meme with the Shadda and applying Gunna here. And then this Meme is going to be connected with this Meme, applying Gunna again. So, Roy Bim Mim Ma Nazal Na. We are connecting the Noon with the Za, pressing it for one second, and then Za with the Lam because of the Sukun, and then Noon Fatha Alif Na. So, Nazal Na Ala Abdina. Kalkala on the ba, kof to ba jim da. Remember these letters are the kalkala letters, the returning sound. If the one of these letters or any of these letters have a sukun on it, we apply the kalkala here. Fa tu Hamza has a sukun on it. And remember that if Alif has any sign like a fatha kasra or dhamma or any other sign like sukun, maybe, then Alif turns into Hamza. And if Hamza has a sukoon, we make the sound jerky. So there will be a little jerk in the sound. This is fa, fa, like this. Fa, tu, wa umada rule again. Bi suratim mimithli. Now remember this rule. If a letter has a sukoon on it, if a letter has a shadda on it, and the previous letter has a sukoon on it, the letter with sukoon is overwritten or overridden or it is skipped it is ignored so this meme with its kasra will be connected with this meme and the noon will not be read noon will be silent it will be skipped because shadda is more powerful than sukoon that is why whenever a letter has a shadda on it and the previous letter has a sukoon on it we ignore that letter with which has a sukoon so that is why this will be mim Since we are stopping here, the standing kasra of ha will turn into sukun. 
So, bisuratim mithlih. Wad'u. Okay, don't stretch the sound on wad'u. Some people say it like this. Wad'u. Why do so? They are confused about the alif madda rule. Now remember, if after alif madda, if there is a letter with a sukoon on it, alif madda does not, is, is not valid anymore. Alif here will be skipped because of the uh, sukoon of dal. And vow will be directly connected with the dal here. So it will be wad'u, not wad'u, not at all, but it is wad'u. Shuhada akum min kuntum sadiqin. Qaf kasra ya sukun qi. We are applying the ya mother rule, stretching the sound for one second. Fa illam again. I will repeat, Lam has a Shadda on it, Noon has a Sukoon on it, Shadda is more powerful than Sukoon, that is why Noon is silent, Hamza with, the, with its Kasra will be directly connected with Lam here, pressing it for one second, Fa illam taf'alu wa la taf'alu fat تقنا <تصفيق> وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ كُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا مِنْهَا من ثمرات الرزق قالوا هذا الذي رزقنا من قبل من قبل وأتوا به متشابها وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرَةٌ وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَسْتَحْيِي أَنْ يَضْرِبَ مَثَلًا مَا بَعُوضَةً فَمَا فَوْقَهَا فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ Kafaru Fayakuluna Mada 
أراد الله بهذا مثلا The small meme which you are seeing here is called Waqf Lazim which means obligatory stop which means no matter what on all costs you have to stop here if you don't stop the meaning of the ayah will be changed drastically and it will be harmful and sinful to do so so it is mathala yudhillu bihi kathiran wa yahdi bihi kathira wa ma yudhillu bihi illa al-fasiqin صدق الله العظيم. All right, so this was our first class in English uh, regarding the free weekly or bi-weekly Islamic studies classes. So, inshallah, Aziz, uh, we will meet maybe a week after next week, um, maybe two weeks after we will meet, inshallah. السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ